Daffo Gaming right here, right now, bring you a coaching session with Demon again. Let's see how she's improved from last time. So, what do you want it like to start? And welcome, of course, welcome. Thank you. Um, I have uh, come to quite like uh, nicking either Negatron, a sword, or a tear at this point. Um, if it's going completely wrong, I'm going for a glove. Uh, Negatron, please explain Negatron. So, uh, recently, after um, a lot of the mages uh, became, came back and became a lot more popular, uh, Vega builds started returning, so did Nami builds. Okay. So, in order to combat some of the uh, damage that you take from the mages, you'll, I'll choose to go for Negatron and kill Gurley. Uh, it also gives me easy access to something like a QSS later, or it gives me access to a Runance. If I should get a bow. Um, I, I, I don't think that's it. I don't think you want to... Like, what do you slam with the Negatron right away? Like, you should think uh, about what you can slam right away. Well, either I slam Runans, or I slam Chalice, or... Uh, Ionic, I guess. Yeah. Ionic's uh, the last one, yeah. Uh, wait, can you play Nami here? Uh, not entirely, but I needed something to start out with. Um, I would... Uh, okay, if you... Yeah, she's mage, so it's better than enlightened. Like, mage Nami is okay. But you have no items and no synergies for her. I would have just skipped. Because, like, okay, now, okay, now it's not terrible. First of all, what, what you could have done... What you could have done is... Uh, you could have played the Threshes, right? And you could have waited to see if you drop a tier or rod and then buy the Nami. If you don't drop a tier or rod, you never buy the Nami, okay? Because they're like, yeah. They're, yeah. Because like now that you dropped at least a tier, you can get a rod and you can kind of play Nami for a little bit. So what is your strongest board here? Okay, interesting. Okay, what do we... Okay, position... Okay, yeah, you position. Good, good, good. So, yeah, okay, I guess you started sword. Um, yeah, 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 okay, these items, you cannot make anything. Unfortunate. I don't mind level up. You want to preserve HP. I think that's fine. So let's see. I mean, this is this is fine. So as far as I recall, I know this game is an eighth, but um, what go happens to go wrong is what you guys usually describe as the so-called on and off switch. Um, this is sorry, what? I don't really. Uh, well, the so-called on and off switch. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I yeah, don't yeah. really uh, manage to uh, stop wind streaking, or I don't really manage to grief my board and come back. Okay, that why? Is, yeah, why do you give the sword to Hecarim? Uh, that makes very little sense to me. Yeah, the about the same amount to me. I think it was because I expected to keep his twisted fate, so I didn't want to slap a sword on him. You're never keeping twisted fate. All right, fair. Why would you keep twisted fate ever? He's a mage. But he's the worst mage. He is the absolutely worst mage for this comp. True. So you, Lulu's like 20 times better. So you want to put the sword on, on TF for now. Because Hecarim dies. TF is, first of all, I don't know off, off the top of my head, but what I always do, I'm, I mean, I'm 100% I'm sure of TF, but you can just right click and check his attack speed. And just give the sword to the highest attack speed, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's as easy as that. And... Ironically, you're more likely to keep the keep the Hecarim than the TF, right? Because the Hecarim is a vanguard. You have like two vanguards, so True. you're more likely to keep the keep the Hecarim than the TF. So, oh shit, that was close. But yeah, so imagine, yeah, I think you would definitely kill one more unit. I think, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Fiora would be dead here. 
I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Fiora would be dead. If, if the BF sword was on the TF, Fiora's dead. You do see that, right? Yeah, I do. So that's 2 H. And by the way, you could have at least put the bow somewhere. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the bow for a moment, I think. I think Thresh bow is actually fine, because if he attacks more, if he attacks more, he, more he gets more mana, good. casts more, it's really good. Um, okay, so what... What? Okay, yeah, this is the on-off switch, exactly. What tells you that you should pre-level here? Uh, the fact that I don't have 10 gold. But if you sell the Nunu, you're at 10 gold. Oh, oh, I think I know why. It's because I'm thinking to put in Nunu for an Elderwood uh, trade once I find either Lulu or Vega, or both. Yeah, but, okay, that, like, you want to get to 10 gold. You just lost, you want to get to 10 gold. Like, early gold, like, you, you do, like, these analyses and all that crazy shit with, with uh, Excel, right? Uh, yeah, to an extent. So, or, like, some kind of calculation. So, uh, there's lots of calculations, or there's some calculations on the Reddit, and I, I have the calculations as well for myself. Like, early gold is exponentially more valuable than late gold so making one interest here is just it's just too good like making one interest here like if you had lulu as well like if you had lulu and, and nunu then le like pre-loving is fine but if you don't hit like you you're not guaranteed lulu or or Vigar on stage two at all so you would just level up and put in like a nunu for nothing really but like the 10 gold is guaranteed. So it's like a huge gamble. Here you have guaranteed 10 gold and one interest. <coughs> and you don't have a streak, right? You just you just lost. So no streak. Yeah, exactly. That should have been done on stage 2-1. Um, yeah, so no streak. So there's like maybe if you win here, you can pre-level. Like if you win, you can pre-level. But you shouldn't pre-level before the round even starts. Because you don't know how it's going to pan out, right? So now you're lost streaking, but you leveled up. Why, why is that kind of terrible? Because I wasted some interest. And I gave myself a higher chance of winning, meaning I gave myself a higher chance of losing my lost streak. Exactly. So it's like you either get your lost streak going or you get your econ, like uh, lost streak or win streak, or like lost streak with econ or like win streak without econ. But if you're going lost streak and you're leveling up to get stronger, it's just kind of counterintuitive. All right, what are we? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, this is just a bit of bad luck. But let's see how, yeah. quick, how quick you are. You can spam click, right? Oh, I can. So let's see how, how well you spam click. I don't spam click well enough as far as I recall. So I end up with the green cells. Wait, what? You're not even trying to sell the... Thresh. Why not? Because I'm not exact... Because I didn't actually uh, figure out it was a Thresh until I saw it on the Thresh itself. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, so that took me a little bit, so I think this is where it starts fucking up, as I really, really need to pivot at this point, because I can't keep the fresh around, at least not for long. Oh shit, okay, okay. So yeah, this is where it starts going south, and, and it does that pretty darn fast. Okay, um, yeah, what, <laughs> what is the play here? So here you can still redeem yourself by selling the Nunu and putting in a second TF. Because this, like, this way, you can never make 10. Right? You can never make 10. Yeah, if you put in the, yeah. the Garen and you sold the Hecarim, maybe you could have made 10. If you put in the Garen over the Nunu or the TF over the Nunu, you can make 10. 
But if you don't make, like, if you're not making 10 here, you're so screwed. You are so screwed. Yeah, this is, this is tough. And you should buy out your shop. Always buy out the shop. You never know if you hit something. You have a kindred, that's nice. That's, okay, that, that is, oh, oh how, how can you do that? You have a two-star unit. I didn't think Quinzos was good on fresh at all. But it's a two-star. It's a fucking two-star. Yeah. You cannot sell a two-star. And Gwinstow is actually, like, it's not, it's okay on Thresh. But this made you so much weaker. So, so much weaker. Like, why not? Why not? Just uh, put in the Kindred over the Nunu. Right? Kindred over Nunu. Like, I don't know, did you watch most of my, my last game? Some of it, only about half of it, yeah. unfortunately. It, it wasn't very smooth, but the way I got to nine is I had a lot of two-star units that I just picked up along the way. Like a Janna, a Timo, a Yami. Like, I just picked up two-star units along the way. I played Silas for a while because two-star units are just super powerful. And you never want to sell a two-star for a one-star. Two-star units are always more powerful than one-star. Yeah. Kind of. Espe like, especially if it's a two cost, three cost. Like, if it was like a Kane or a Azir, maybe one star Azir is better than, than two, star, uh, two star Thresh. It's still debatable. But you cannot sell this Thresh. This makes you super, super weak. And I don't understand this either. Wh wh why would you put in the Garen over. Okay. So we're pivoting into Brawlers. All right. So then if we put it into Brawlers, isn't Silas or Vi better than, than, than Maokai? Again, depends on what I pick up later. No, but I mean right now for this board. Um, yeah, uh, Vi would definitely be better due to her ammo reduction or Silas just because he stops him from casting. Yeah, and what is the biggest mistake you made, apart from setting the threat, biggest mistake you made last round? Selling at two cost. No, apart from that, apart from that. Uh, not scouting? Yeah. Who do you scout? Everyone, or, well, first place? No, you don't care about first place. I scout if other people are running similar comps to what I am. That's not relevant right now. I scout the ones I'm most likely to meet. Uh, yes. And what specifically are you looking for? Assassins? No. Uh, what is the most important thing that you need to have in this round? Egon? Uh, yeah, you're on the right track. Or Chosen? Uh, wait, sorry, what was that? Chosen? Chosen? No. Uh, no, 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 no. But it's it's on the econ track, but what what is the most important thing regarding econ and scouting? I think you've lost me here. You need to lose this round. Oh, right. Because if you go to a four last week, you get two gold and two gold. That's four extra gold. If you somehow win this, you're completely fucked. Like, if you somehow win this round, you're not winning this, most likely. But if you do, you are completely fucked. Because if you lose, you get four extra gold. Which is a lot. Especially if you lose on 3-1 again. So, the most important here, after losing three times in a row, is to scout the weakest guys and make sure you lose against them. So the way you do it, like, you don't sell the Thresh, you put the Thresh on the bench. That's something you can do. And I will do that. And it's like, most people in like Grandmaster or Master and below, they're like, what the fuck is this? Like, I will have my Chosen on my bench, for example, for 2-6. For two, two, 
because I know I need to lose that round, especially if I have like three losses or four losses before. So that's like econ. That's like the most important thing. That's probably why I seriously struggle. I think to make it even worse, I have to actually win this one. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah. 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 So th this means you're completely fucked. Okay. So now your board is hella weak. Your econ is shit. And your chosen is useless. So. Yep, yep. And I'm on my ass. I'm aware. Like, like you know, you have no streak. Like, this is the worst start you could have gone. Like, you could have done. So, like, from the beginning, I wouldn't have even picked up the the chosen Nami. That was the first thing. And, like, once you did, just, like, try to build around her. Like, this is. You're just. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, everyone's in chat saying, like, this is basically like, just FF right here. So, okay, so from this position, um, what do you think you can do from this position? I don't know if you're going to do it, but, like, what, what, is, what is, like, the only play you can do here? Or, like, not, not right now, but, like, general in th th this game. Uh, keep on lost streaking and play the cheapest units I can. Okay, yeah. Um, meaning optimizing my board cost, so it might be weak, but it's also somewhat strong, so it can kill some units, but not all. Yeah, I mean, Kindred is great at picking up units. Kindred is wonderful at that. So you you, you probably don't lose, like, full, full board. Uh, but, like... Um, what do you have to do, like, uh, on stage three and four? Um, I am probably going to have to roll down on three two, um, or three one in order to stabilize. Yeah, there's a, a small roll down on three two on six, and then like a hail mary roll down on four two on seven. Yeah. Like, the, the way you, like, with this, with what happened with the start and this, like, you're praying for top four, and you do that by getting to seven and rolling to zero on seven. That is your only way of getting, like, uh, six, fifth, or fourth. Like, if you're in this position, you need to realize that. You're, you're, you're praying for top four, maybe top six. Yeah. Because this start is a top, like, this start is a, is a bottom eight. So, from this position, it's like, okay... I fucked up, or the game, the game griefed me, or whatever. Uh, it's not a tournament, so it like doesn't matter. But it's like okay, so it's for LP. So if you want to get some LP, um... <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you write that. I'm very glad you wrote that. Yeah. Right? That's exactly what I told you, and that's what you need to you need to look for to make sure your streak does not get ended. Yeah. Because it's not RNG. It's like up to you. Like, okay, do I make my board strong enough to win? Or do I make sure my board does not win? And he was the weakest guy, by the way. I, I'm pretty sure you don't beat, like, most of the people you don't beat. So. Nice, you're at 30. That's good. Oh, okay. Holy shit, that is super lucky, and please never do that. Why did you sell the TF? Because I thought I really, 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 really needed to hit just something. And TF was the easiest thing to get rid of. But, okay. Um, uh, I don't want to sound like too much of a dick. Like... <laughs> But it's like, how the fuck do you think you can level to, to six here? What was going on through your mind? I don't understand. Like, you hit Econ. You're at 36 right now. Or, yeah, whatever. You're at, like, you're at 30 gold, right? Your board uh, is still... I just have uh, kept the gold and uh, done absolutely nothing. Your board is still shit. 
And now your board is still shit, but you don't have gold. And it's Zeke's here. It's Zeke's. It is 100% Zeke's. Okay. Why did you level up? I think I was hoping to stabilize. Okay. Uh, to see if I could at least get some kind of streak going, or at least try to not lose ev all of my HP at the start. Perfect. Because I know losing all of my HP at the start means losing later. Okay. So what item does that? Um. Well, Seeks is probably the best thing at preserving HP in this case. Exactly. Like, what you said, what you wanted, like, you leveled up. Okay, you leveled up, which I think was wrong. But then, you don't make you don't make the Zeeks. So, like, you make one wrong play, followed by a second wrong play. Sorry, but that's just what it is. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, like, you fucked up by leveling up, and you fucked up even more by not actually getting stronger. Oh, yeah. So, like, if you level up, it's like, okay, I level up, I'm desperate, I need to preserve some HP, I'm slamming a fucking Zeeks. Because on stage 3, it's still, it's still, like, the fights are relatively long. Like, this fight, you're going to get your ass handed to you because he has a 3-star Aphelios. Yeah. But, yeah. but otherwise, like, Zeke's, yeah, leveling here is only good if you have a streak, which you did not have. So, you needed to maintain the last streak. You didn't maintain the last streak. You're not going to go into a win streak, so there was no point leveling here. And by not summoning the Zeke's, you're, you're, you're just going to lose more. Like, if you slam the Zeke's, Maybe you kill another unit. Like six, maybe you, you would have killed the the Tom Kench. So like now, yeah, you're just <coughs> digging a bigger and bigger ditch. Yeah. Like you, you gotta like either econ or be strong. But you can't be weak and broke. If you're weak and broke, you're not getting anywhere. Yeah. Oh! Why are we rolling? Why the fuck are we rolling here? Give me one reason to roll here, please. I have no idea what went from my head at that <laughs> Give point. Give me one fucking reason to roll here. Again, looking for anything to stabilize. But, okay. The way you get back into the game is by getting gold and using your economy. Yeah? Like... Yeah. The only way you get back into the game is if you actually hit 50 gold and you get to 7 at some... At a reasonable time. And then you roll down to zero. You, you shouldn't roll down to zero on six. It's not worth it. Like you still have enough HP to easily get to seven. And by yeah, the way. Yeah, by the way, redemption is, is, is not that great. I don't think redemption is, such, is a good slam. Yeah, I should probably have put it on uh, Kindred so she would cast more often. Uh, Shorten is not, like, it, it should have been Zeke's. It should have been Zeke's. Yeah. Uh, by the way, you I have a Riven and a Wayne. Usual. Riven and Wayne. You have the Dust. Yeah. So you can play Riven, you can play Wayne. And, yeah. So, yeah, the people are saying, yeah, you you were rolling for a Chosen. But, like, uh, by the way, what do we know? What What is, like, what is this shit? This shit and this shit? What should we always do? Buy out the shop. Buy out the shop. This should always be a zero. At the end. Right? There's never... Yep. A, like, it should always be zero. So you always... Like, if you bought the Thresh, and Timo and, and Wayne, you would have Sharpshooter Dusk. And boom, you hit Riven. So now you have two Sharps. And you can put in, you can put in the, the, the Timo for Kindred. You put in the Riven, and you put in a Wayne. Is that can that work? One, two, three. Yeah, and you have the Brawler front line. I think yeah, that's stronger, right? 
Timo. It looks like this. Timo win are sharpshooters. With Riven, it's Dusk. With Kindred, it's Spirit. And you have Brawlers. You lose Elderwood, though. But Elderwood is not that amazing because, like, you don't actually have any Elderwoods that are doing anything. They're just there as meat shields. And a little bit of a comment on your chat. No, you shouldn't always buy Timo. Timo might be a somewhat decent unit, but he does also fall off pretty fast. At least if he doesn't have the right items. But uh, they're just saying, like, right now it wouldn't have cost you anything. So always buy him. Yeah, it's uh, it's true. It's um, always buy Timo in this situation, yeah, but not in every situation. I would argue whenever it doesn't cost you Econ, Timo is one of the best units to put in. Why, why is Timo OP? Well, he stops units from hitting, uh, so yeah. he most likely makes sure that you survive longer and that you can kill more units. The, the blind is too strong. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, like, the blind is amazing. That, that's what I mean. Like, the blind is really amazing. I'm glad you pick up the Riven. That's, like, the one correct play here. Nice. Okay. Okay, you do, did hit something. But, okay. So who's in a better spot looking at you two? He is, since he has four, uh, at least four duelists and two enlightened. No, fuck, um, fuck that. This, line, this is the most important yeah. thing. Yeah. His board is irrelevant. He can play whatever trash he wants. He's at the same HP as you. He's level five, but he's rich. Right? That means... Come stage four, he can go seven, maybe even eight, sell all the trash, and actually roll down for a comp. Which you cannot no longer do. You can no like you can no longer you can no longer level up and find a comp. So this is kind of like, okay, you're you, you have to play what you get now. And this is like now you're putting your, your hands in the in like the fate of RNG. In our, I, I have a habit of doing that. It's a bad one, but I have a habit of doing it. Sorry, you, you happen... What? You do that often? I or? have a bad habit of putting yeah. my fate into RNG. And do you understand why? Because, like, your, your econ is fucked. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I have absolutely no econ, so I don't really have an option to improve my board. So if you hit something, that's nice. If you don't hit, well... Ooh. Signing the ribbon, it's kind of... Yeah, you had to. I mean, I agree with it. I agree that you have to sell the ribbon. Okay, so how about some scouting and positioning, please? Please? Okay, so this is not it. You spend 20 seconds doing nothing. Why is positioning so important here? Like, how do you put, like, what do you want to happen during the fight, by the way? What do you want to happen? So I would prefer that Lux stuns as many as possible, which means exactly. placing her opposite to the Karis. Correct. What else do you want to happen? Uh, I want to keep Kindred alive, also meaning placing somewhat uh, opposite compared to the Karis, so she actually stays alive. And putting meat shields in front, correct? Yeah. Maybe, maybe even a meat shield behind her in case there are assassins, right? Yeah. Which, which we haven't really scouted for. No. Okay. What else do you want to happen? Preferably, I should win. But, no, no, no. Uh, I mean, I mean positioning-wise. Positioning-wise. Uh, I want Hecarim in the middle. Uh, not necessarily. Uh, not necessarily. Well, I want to make sure that the Maokai with the Redemption is the first one to die. Yes. So I actually get his um, his redemption drop, um, okay. which means putting him nearest to Karis, so he is the one targeted first. Exactly. Uh, so you want uh, Maokai on like maybe one side over here, so he gets hit by a lot, and you want Hecarim like you want Hecarim, you want him to be surrounded, right? You want Hecarim yeah. to get surrounded. Because he's a two-star, an Elderwood. He's going to survive. And if he gets surrounded, he'll heal more. So the play here is to put the Nunu in the back. Did you, like, did you see my, my positioning most of the game? I had Maokai yeah, in the front. Yeah, I had Meat Shield in the back. 
and I had everything else in the back. Because I wanted Maokai to take all the aggro. So here you want Maokai and Hecarim to take all the aggro. You don't need Nunu to get hit. Nunu's kind of a, like right now, Nunu's more of a carry or like second line of defense. Um, <coughs> by the way, what's, what's a stronger board here that you can play? Like right now from the options you have. Either two Vanguards or going for possibly an Akali or Xinjiang. Uh, it's the two Vanguards. Uh, it's the Garen over Lulu. Yeah. Because Lulu, like, she doesn't do much. The, like, you don't lose anything by taking her out. But you gain Vanguard for, for two-star Hecarim. Again, who are your, like, strongest units right now on the board? It's us. Uh, Lux and Hecarim, in other words, and then Kindred because she's atomized. Yeah, so Lux, Kindred, Hecarim. So you want to make sure that Hecarim is stronger. That's how you have to think about it, right? So like you know the answers, but like you should think about it beforehand or just like kind of have a feel for it in the game. So strongest board would be two Vanguards rather than four yep. Elderwood. Yeah, this should be... Oh. I mean, the Lux at least gets a good ulti off. This is not a win? What? Oh, crap. It's not a win. Holy crap. Okay. So how do we position? Okay, first of all, yeah. Remember what I said about having Nunu in the back? Yeah, if that Nunu was the first mistake. So if Nunu, was, if Nunu was right here... He's gonna he's gonna eat the uh, Elise Evelyn. Then next thing, okay, Maokai is fine. It's kind of kind of dumb that the horse is walking around like that. Like had the had the horse walked over there where Maokai is, the horse would would probably beat that as well. And the Lux should have been in the in the right corner, right? Yeah, she should have. But that's just like not not scouting and not preparing for, for this guy at all. And he's he's level five and he's chilling with forty gold. So like looking at gold and levels, you should be at least like forty or fifty gold stronger than him. Yeah, I should. Yeah. That just like that just shows that you kind of wasted gold. If you if you're at this low gold compared to him and he's still beating you, it's like uh, bad itemization or bad. Like what? Why would you sell the Lulu here? Okay. I have no idea at this point. You need to to value two stars higher, any two star. Like the reason I got to level nine last game was I just had two star Janna, Timo, Yumi, like random ass two stars, but they were two star. Like, two-star units are so strong. That's, like, the, the most important thing you need to do. Two-star units. So what do we want here? I'm not even sure anymore. I.E.? Interesting. So I guess <laughs> Kindred is your Ash, right? Uh, yeah, here's... Oh, she is about to become my gen, rather. <laughs> Oh shit, okay. Oh. Oof. 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 What is the Jin Zhao doing there? How is this stronger? I think that was me attempting to make some sort of econ. But Maokai is a is cheaper than Jin Zhao. Yeah. I honestly I have uh, no idea. Like I like the I like the warlord. But why not keep the Maokai for Elderwood? Honestly, I don't know at this point. Because with almost every play, you keep making yourself weaker. Do you see that yeah. right now? Yeah, I do. Yeah, like every, every single turn, you just make yourself weaker. And it's really sad that you're not, that, that you didn't hold the Teemo or the, or the, or the way. Because Jin, if he had Sharpshooter, he'd be, he'd be, 
like not twice as good, but like fifty percent better or something, because he would ricochet. So yeah. Aram is saying you wanted to play Vanguard. You she could have played Vanguard, but she didn't need the, the Jin Chao. Yeah, it was definitely Nunu or or Maokai over. No, Nunu's still there. I think Nunu's still there. With Hecarim and Lux. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. To Blue. Get up to twenty gold. But yeah. Actually, the, the Lulu, you don't, you don't even need the Lulu. You, you could have had the Maokai over Lulu. Like, you, you should have you, you should have kept the Elderwood. Oh, you wouldn't, we wouldn't have Elderwood. Sorry. Like, yeah, Maokai over... Oh, God. This, this comp. Like, this is not a comp. This is, uh... Called being indecisive and panicking. Yeah. I mean, the gin pickup is fine, but like, yeah, look, look, like this is another thing. I like, looking at like lower elos. Look at these synergies. Do you remember my synergies, by the way? Uh, yes. Uh, so they are all on the lowest level. They uh, they are still there. But like, what synergies did I have playing stage three? Uh, uh, I don't think I saw that part of the game, but I'm pretty certain you had sharpshooters, you had um, some kind of frontline um, synergy, meaning either vanguards, mystics, or uh, brawlers. Um, or you had some kind of beginning adept or divine. I it, Yeah, I mean, I had like five synergies. I had... Elderwood, Brawler, Sharpshooter, Spirit, Mystic. Right? Yeah. Because I had Ma Maokai and Nunu for Elderwood and Brawler. Then I had Timo and, and Yumi for Spirit. Then I had a random uh, Nidalee for Sharpshooter. And then I had a Janna for Mystic. And it's these like little synergies that help a lot. They yeah. do. So it's like having Dazzler is not really a synergy. It's not that great, especially with Lux. Because she just stuns units. So Dazzler, like, on Lux is like two seconds. Vanguard is fine. Yep. But what, what, yeah, yeah, let's see what you do here. Okay, you just, you just passed over an Irelia. Right? So, again. Yep. What are your strongest units right now? Uh, Jin, um, and Lux. And Hecarim. Are my strongest. The, the top three, Jin, Lux, Hecarim, right? Agree? Yeah. So what does Lux need? Divine. Divine. And I have both a Shin and an Irelia, meaning I could get an Adept Frontline and I could get a Divine. That's and fine. you can even put in a spirit, Yumi, uh, for, yeah. for Mystic. So you would have Vanguards, Mystics, and Adepts. And if you hit a Teemo, you could have Sharpshooters for Jin and for and uh, Spirit. Yeah. If you ditch one, like, if you ditch... Like, first first thing is Irelia and Shen over Jin and Lulu, right? For Adept and Divine. And then whatever else you get. And what is the one, one, one rule I told you last, last time, which you're still not following? Don't waste gold. Never fucking roll uh, on creep rounds. Ever. Yeah. When is, it, when is the right time to roll on a creep round? When is it allowed? There's one exception. Or like two uh, exceptions. I'm going to say... Stage four and uh, seven. Or I the think, stage four creep round. Uh, nope. It's not a it's not a stage related answer. Well, if you're about to die. Yeah. If you're about to die, then you can roll on a creep round. Or, alternatively. Second second reason to roll on a creep round.
you're probably not gonna get there playing like this, sorry, but like there's a, the second reason is if you're making a huge pivot, if you level up to nine, for example, you sell half your board oh, okay. and you have like 60 gold. So you can roll down to 30. Sorry, I think I I, I hit my death and, uh, button on the uh, on mistake. Are you sure I re repeat it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it, I play Among Us, so I have a death and button. That, that's fine. That's fine. Um, so, one, if you're dying, you should you should uh roll like you should roll, and second thing is you should roll if uh, you're making a big pivot. So that you don't come out weaker. Like if you level up to 8 or 9, and then you have a lot of gold, so you roll it down. Yeah. yeah. And third sense. point, third point, that Armorer made, it's a good point, if you have more than 50 gold. So you can roll a bit if you're above 50. Yeah, if, so, if I'm still rolling. Um, uh, okay, so number one, can you die next round? No. Number two, are you making a big pivot? No. And uh, number three, right, we answered that. Yeah, you can't die. You're not making a big pivot. You're not above 50. Yeah. So. So I just go back. You rolled once, I think. Yeah, you rolled once. Yeah, you did roll just once. So now let's see if you get... If you get some gold, then, uh, yeah. Maybe you wouldn't have made... Oh, okay. Please. And my reaction time was just not fast enough <laughs> to figure out what was going on. But it's Otherwise always Sel Wukong. Have... It's always Sel Wukong or Sel... Sel well, yeah. Wukong is maybe better than Sel, Sel Tom Kench. But that was, the, yeah. like, that was the one roll. That was exactly the one roll. If you hadn't rolled, you'd be at, you'd be at higher gold. So you're yeah. missing one interest because you rolled. Again. Again. Uh, are you in a position here where you can waste four gold? I'm not in a position where I can waste any gold. Exactly. So here you just and you're just on a three loss streak. So you can just tank one round, level up, level up next, next round, right? Because what what is next round? Cannon. Oh well, next round was a level up, uh, regardless. No, uh, no, next round is a perfect exactly. interval. Perfect interval. Yeah. So you you would have saved you would have saved uh, four gold. Yeah. Okay. What is the most important unit you need to add here? Uh, blood warlord. No. Or blood well vein. You need a sharpshooter. Your gin is like your main carry. And you passed up. Oh my god, and you're rolling down. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, and we have three divine. And we don't have the Sejuani in there. And you didn't sell the Lux. So, okay, look at this gin. Look at this gin. Isn't gin like kind of strong right now? Yeah, but he needs the second sharpshooter and he's getting one shot. He just died, but like... Two shot. Yeah. So this is, like, not a board. No, it doesn't. Like, I, like you, you seem to be panicking way too much, or I don't know, like, what's going on, through, like, what's going, in your he going on in your head. Why did you get the Lux now, but not on, when was it, 3, 6, 3, 7, when you had her in your shop? Uh, yeah, the, no, sorry, the Irelia. The Irelia, you got the Irelia now. 
I think it might have been because I didn't think I could make the econ back if I uh, bought her then, but it doesn't make any sense at this point. Right, like, you need to have some sort of direction. You need to, like, like the way I think about it is like these, um, like, uh, what are they called? The, like trees or like maps or whatever. Skill builds. Mind maps. Yeah, mind ma oh, yeah, maybe mind maps. Just like, or like skill build trees. Or like unit trees, like okay. Right now, my strongest board is with with a sharpshooter. Okay, what can I do? I can do four vanguard plus sharpshooter. I can do um, keeper plus sharpshooter. Right? I can do uh, dusk plus sharpshooter. I can do frontline plus sharpshooter. But this, like, okay. By the way. Why is this front line terrible? Inappropriate signatures together. Uh, that's one thing, yes. Um, it doesn't really have any tank items. Okay. And its primary uh, front line is the Xin Xiao. Yeah. But it's like, okay, so position accordingly. Like, you don't just put all the units here in the front like this. Like, if you watch me, I, I never have, like, five units right next to each other. Like, the, the only thing I had was uh, <laughs> two two guards set and, and um, Shen. But not, not five units like this. Because they all function differently, right? Like, I rarely uh Wants to disarm. Tom Kench can tank. Wukong, I don't know what the hell he's doing there. I guess, no, the Irelia is lost. The Irelia is lost. Um, yeah, <laughs> and the Yujin Chao can tank. And the Mauk, like, the reason why you cannot have this front line is because you want Maokai surrounded, you want Jin Zhao surrounded, and you kind of want Tom Kench surrounded as well. So you have... That high amount of people surrounded. <laughs> You you have like the 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 same function or like uh, have you played uh, League of Legends or Dota or any MOBAs? Yes. Yes, great. I, I you just know I I played I played a bit of Dota. So in Dota as as well as in League, it's I think it's similar enough. You kind of want some units serving like the frontline function, some units serving some damage function, some units serving the utility function. Right? And you have only frontline. So in, in Dota or in League or any MOBA, if you have four tanks and one carry, it's not that great. Well, oh, yeah, they're called supports. I don't know if they're called supports in, in League as well. They are. Yeah, perfect. I played support. Yeah. So who's the support on this team? Uh, Lux. <laughs> or Irelia for that matter. Yeah, those are kind of. But like, how about Mystic? Would be good for support. Or like another sharpshooter would be an okay support for for Jin, like to augment his damage. If you think about it that way, right? So it's like, you need like you have just tanks, just tanks, one one carry, without, like uh, he has good items, but he doesn't have sharpshooter synergy. So that that's why you're losing. Like that's why you're losing because like. And you sell the locks now. Great. And, yeah, what did we learn last session, by the way? And it's not very good anymore. Uh, no, no, no. And... We, that you just, just keep doing right now. Don't waste gold. Yes. I don't know if we, if we learned that specifically, but use our hotkeys. Yeah. As I said, I'm still practicing on that. Oh no! I do switch it up a little bit. Oh nice! We're actually we're actually positioning a little bit. Um, so again, this Aphilios is fine, but what does he need? Moonlight hunter. Hunter, yeah. By the way, can you stop rolling here? Uh, probably not. Not without Hunter, not without a Chosen. 
Like here it was rolled down to zero. Holy crap. Okay, I thought you would lose here. Nice. Nice. Okay, fine. Fine. Um, that just hit the other boards being trash as well. But like, your board is, is, is very weak. But yeah, good. I don't understand, like, why do you sell the Lux? Like, if you sell the Lux, if you sell the Lux, it's roll down till you find a Chosen. And I can't find any better Chosen at the moment because I'm only level 7. No, 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 that, that's fine. That's fine, you're playing for top 4. But you need to, like, know that if you sell the Lux, you're rolling down to zero or till you find a chosen. Yeah. So this is not okay. Like you, you won here, but oh, it's a one star Vygar with with some of the items. Okay, that's why you won. But this is like this is not okay. Like if you're selling your chosen, you need to know like oh he's I don't know what the hell he's doing. He has a chosen on the bench. Okay. Please no. Please no. Okay, you cannot waste 15 seconds here. That is a luxury you do not have. What are some chosen you could you could pick up right now? You need to know, like you need to know what you're looking for. So, what are chosen you can pick up right now? Range daily chosen. Uh, I can pick up uh, Timo. I can pick up. Um... Uh, by I can pick up. I mean, in, in, in like in general, what what kind of cho what kind of chosen would you would you want? An AD chosen, preferably. Uh, sorry, AD, like attack. AD is chosen, yeah. Um, no, you already have you already have uh, your Aphilios. You can you can roll for Aphilios. Uh, Mystic chosen or support chosen. Mystic you chosen, some sort of support chosen. Best. Hunter, like Hunter Kid would be amazing, but any sort of like, any sort of more backup, backline damage. Yeah. Or alternatively, maybe like a Vanguard Chosen. So like, you should know, like the most important thing is, Zed is completely useless here. You take half a second, one second, you know that he's completely useless. Right? So yeah. you cannot waste 15 seconds thinking about Zed. Like this is not okay. You, you you spent the whole turn doing nothing, right? I spent the turn trying to get a plan, trying to get a direction. That's usually what I spent twenty seconds on. Oh fuck! But it's like you roll and you just <coughs> just roll and buy the shop, and if you hit a two star, you put it in. If you're if you have no direction. Like, your board is, is kind of okay. Like, what do you need right now for your board to actually be good? Backline damage. Right? Like, 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 what two units do you want to take out? And what two units do you want to put in? Hmm. I'm thinking to take out the uh, Jacks, throw in the Katarina. Uh, take out the Irelia and throw in, um, uh, Kindred. Yeah, so like, uh, Katarina, no, not really. Um, Kindred, yes. So you definitely want Kindred, right? Yeah. And what else? Uh, Ash would be a pretty good one to have right now. Shen would be a good one to have right now. Uh, Shen, not really, because you're taking out Irelia and Jax, right? Yeah. Um... So it's Kindred, Ash, or Warwick. Yeah. Yeah, or ideally, like, maybe Aatrox, Thresh, or something, because, like, the Xin Zhao is kind of whatever. You cannot sell the Xin Zhao now because he's a two-star. 
but like the front line, like you have two vanguards, Jin Zhao and Tom Kench. So yeah, that that's not it. And Irelia and Jax. So again, it's like you only have front line, and one carry, with without any buffs. I need more carry. Yeah. We we don't need to lock the shop. I'm taking the Jax. But why not just buy him? Because I also want to try to stay above 20 gold. Okay. So the, the thing is, you, you, do not, like, you do not roll here. Right? What is the point of this yeah. roll? What is the point of these rolls? What is the point? Th something I can throw in uh, the next turn instead of uh, those. And yes, I know I shouldn't roll on uh, what after combat has started. Like, what is the what is the only thing you can achieve when you roll on combat started? Finding something for the next round. Yeah, and what does that actually? What does that like? What does I don't know? For me, like for my mental, it doesn't do much. Like I don't know what it does for your mental, but the only thing you can achieve is tilt yourself. Because this just fucking tilts me. Like, if I, if I have this in my shop, I'm like, fuck, why don't I have the jacks and the cane in there? That's just, like, how I think about it. Maybe, maybe you have better mental, so you don't get tilted by this, but, like, for me, I'm like, oh, my God, I didn't put them in on time. And it just tilts me. The fact that I have this, like, these amazing units that I don't have in there. Holy crap. Okay, maybe I should be playing more Aphelios. He, he seems hella broken. <laughs> Yes, Aphelios is quite a strong chosen actually. Oh, well, it was quite a strong unit, actually. Uh, he just needs items. Yeah. I can see that. Really powerful. That was kind of why I decided to exchange Kindred for him. Oh, well, I don't even know Jen for him. Okay, what also do we want here? What the fuck is this? I want the Yone. No discussions. Yes, Yone. You have a Yone with Morello. And for some reason you get something else. We get a sword. So like here, if you pick up the Yone with Morello, you can still maybe top four. Because look at the HP. Like, 45 is over here. So if you pick up the Yone, you can top 4. He is that powerful. So, like, I don't understand how this can happen. This should never happen. There's a Kane and a Yone. Those are the, like, I don't know about, maybe Kane is a little, like, not that perfect, but, like, a Yone, Set, and Kane, especially if you're this far behind, those are legendaries that can actually help you. Like, your board, like, you have one-star random shit on your board. One-star legendary is, like, almost as good as a, as a two-star. Almost as good. So, you definitely pick up the Yone to replace, to replace Irelia, for example. Or to replace um, Jax or Tom Kent or something. Like, this should never happen. You should never pass up, pass up a Yone or a Kane. So you value Hextech Kane more than having a Yone with Morello and a Kane. Okay, yes. Yeah? But isn't isn't that kind of just terrible? Because you could have so had... To extend this, but... Um, you could have had both. I, I think, uh, keep in mind, this was from about a week ago, uh, which is shortly after the patch rolled out. This was before most people figured out how bad Kane actually became after they nerfed him, including me. No, no, Kane is fine. I don't think Kane is bad. I just think having a Kane is not as good as having a Kane and Yone. True. Right? That, that, it's simple as that. Like, yeah, but Kane got a little nerfed, but you could, have, you could have had Kane and Yone, and Yone would have Morello. Kane wouldn't have Hextech, but Yone would have Morello. So... 
Alternatively, you could have picked up the. You could have made Dusk Cane. If you had it, yeah, you could. No, <laughs> you can't fit it back into Jin. Yeah, you, you cannot fit it back into Jin. Here, it's 100% put an Ash or in Kindred. You missed a Kindred, yeah. and you didn't put an Ash. You have a fucking Tom Kench. So, <laughs> another thing, which I didn't do that well last game, I admit it. You need to know what you can take out in case you hit something. So you just hit a Hunter. Tom Kench has no synergies. He's a one cost. He sh he's lost. He should not be there. So, <coughs> and you missed the kindred. So Tom Kench did absolutely nothing. Okay, do you know why these wins are kind of bad? Because I'm only winning by one unit. Exactly. So you're not smacking these people. Like, if you smack them a bit more, they, they might die before you do. But it's like, oh, I, I'm gentle. You know, just like, take a little bit of damage. Holy shit, nice. What? Fuck! Ah! Why? I didn't think it fitted in, like, at all. Oh, how... How does Tom Kench and Jin Zhao fit in? Uh, Duelist. And as for Tom Kench, he is a two star. I think that was my argument at the time. A two star one cost is better than a legendary. That. Yeah, probably not. Yeah. Um. Um, I, I would argue even you can take out, maybe you can, no, I mean the, the Sejuani is really good. Uh, but definitely, okay, definitely you want to put in Ash over Tom Kench. And I think Dione is a bit better than Kane, but like maybe it's, it's, it's okay. Since you have a lot of front line. Oh, for fuck's sake, like, look at this. Look at this. Right? Yes, I've already told you this yeah. was an 8. There was a reason it's an 8. Yeah. But, like, I need you to remember why it's an 8, right? Yeah. So, so it's an 8 because I chose the wrong units uh, at the wrong times and because I kept on wasting gold. Yep. And you didn't put in, like... That's why I like the damage charts. You see that Aphelios is doing the most damage. So you need him to do more. Like, you need him... You need to make sure that... Like, honestly, what on, like, what on this board is helping Aphelios? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, just like, there's frontline, that's good. But nothing is actually... Oh, look at that, he, he picked up the... The Morello Yone. That was on the, on the carousel. Maybe, I don't know. And, uh... Okay, so... Yeah, you did, you, as I mentioned at the start, looking at your, at your start on stage 2... I said you have to roll down to zero on level seven on stage four, right? We both agree to that, right? Yeah, and that hasn't happened. You're gonna go. You're, you're gonna try to go to eight, and you're gonna die. Yep. I can already like. I mean, you told me it's an eight. Oh, okay. So yeah, I mean, you obviously see that's a completely wrong play, right? Yeah, it is. Because you had he a... He should have been exchanged a long time ago. But for what? For Yone or for, for Ash, right? Yeah. Not for Irelia. Because it's like... The, the thing that frustrates me most is like your inconsistency. Because you said... Tom Kench is... Like what you told me, like Tom Kench is the best unit I can have right now. And all of a sudden you get an Irelia and you decide to throw him away for Irelia. When you had stronger options. So, like, either you value Tom Kench, or you don't value Tom Kench. Or you overvalue Irelia, I don't know. And we're rolling again on, on Creep Round, great.
You could have had four hunters, by the way. So this is definitely, definitely indecision. Uh, wh what did you? Why? Why red cane? Uh, because blue cane still doesn't do enough damage uh, during the early round to make up for the healing that he otherwise gets from red, even with hex tech. Really? Okay. I yeah. Okay. No, no, dead seriously, yeah. actually. Okay. <laughs> mm, this is so painful. Oh no, what, why? So, yeah, you have the, the four divine option with Warwick for Hunter. And Hunter. But look, look at this, like there's an Ash. There's an Ash with, oh, no Hunter either. Okay, that's just bad. I don't know what the, oh, it's, it's Ash and Vigar. Yeah, look at this, like Vigar, three items, Ash, two items. So this is really powerful. No chosen either, but who cares? Yeah, by the way, this is the uh, guy who complained that uh, there were like four different people going for Elderwood. Oh, very nice. That's kind of why I thought Ash was not a particularly good idea. But right now you need like any hunter. Yeah, I know. So, like, uh, I think a trend here, you never had, like, amazing synergies at no point in the game. No. So just, just tr like, focus more on getting some some synergies in, anything. Sharpshooter, Vanguard, Elderwood, Brawler, um, Spirit, Mystic. Because, like, these little synergies, like, now stage 5, it doesn't matter. Stage 5 is, like, about powerful units. But stage 2, 3, and maybe even a bit of 4, when you have, like, six, seven, eight synergies, it's really powerful. Like you have Divine, Vanguard, and Duelist. And the only thing actually that matters is maybe the Vanguard. So essentially you have seven random units that do nothing together. Right? Like, okay, these two synergize, but nothing else synergizes. Okay, now we have more synergies. That's good. But now we are dead. Indeed we are. Interesting positioning. Okay. But I mean, the hunter actually <coughs> is pretty good on Philios. Holy it crap. Is. Holy crap, we're not dead yet. I think I actually lost another round, which was. Uh... But that's 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 like that's the hunter. You finally had a hunter. Yeah. Do you like? Do you see the difference in strength when you have a three oh, item I, I carry? I do see the difference. Yeah. So here it's the boss over Jin. Yeah, it is. Oh no! Sorry, the boss of Irelia. Why is four divine useless here? Because I'm not really using any divine frontline anyways. You kind of and are. And I don't really have any extra damage, so the extra true damage doesn't really matter. They're naked. They're all naked. Yeah. So na like, naked units don't need synergies. That's maybe like another thing you can you can remember. Like, focus on synergies for the units that actually have items. So by adding by adding a uh, hunter, it's really good for your hunters. By adding divine, does nothing. Vanguard is kind of okay for the vanguards, but like mystic is, like mystic is something you should almost always consider. Stage four and five onwards, because a lot of damage is magic damage. Like my fuck up last game was that I did not have I did have I had four mystic which was useless. 
So, okay, one last thing. Why do you have two affiliates on your bench? Because I didn't think I could uh, manage to uh, get the uh, Warwick or I hope to get an Aphelios Priest. Otherwise, I should probably just have sold them and ruled for Warwick. Yeah, there's no way you can get Aphelios 3 star. Right? Not at this point in the game, no. So it's always like Sejuani is kind of a bait as well, but like, okay. So <laughs> maybe try to find a Sejuani 2, Warwick 2, Irelia 2, something along those lines. But like never, <laughs> never appeal those to me. Um, but his items are kind of meh. But I guess, okay, yeah, you get completely out positioned. Yeah, and I get smacked by Yone. Yeah. But that's just not positioning against Aatrox either. Yeah. Oh, this was painful. I hope it was painful for you as well and you, you learned something from it. Oh, uh, believe me, it was. Yeah, thank you for sharing this. I mean, uh... so what are what are the key takeaways? Uh, the key takeaways is either you econ or you win streak. It's not both. Yep. Uh, uh, the other takeaway is no rolling three rounds unless you are dying. Um, yeah. Or. Yeah, unless you're dying, is pretty much the rundown of that That's one. the most important one, yeah. Um, build uh, synergies around the units who actually have items. Exactly. Or like team-wide, like Mystic or Adept. Yeah, or team-wide. Um, don't pick up a Chosen you don't really have items for. Um, early on you can, but later on, yeah, it's kind of useless. Uh, or at least sell them um, as soon as you hit level 6. Sure, yeah. Your, your chosen was pointless, correct? Yeah. Um, two stars have a lot more value uh, early game. Just two, um, like two star your board. Like two not star. even early game, like all the way to stage, stage 4. Yeah. Yeah. That, I mean, you summarize it pretty well, um, and and go for like as many synergies as you can, like yeah. good synergies. Yeah. So yeah, thank you for stopping by. Yeah, thank you for looking through that uh, slide torture. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Take care. You too.